Hello, my name is Ana Maria Scarlett and I'm a data analyst at BT Provider. In this video, I will show you how to create an upset chart. Upset chart is best used to build plots with more than three categories or, for example, countries. It can provide more details in a smaller place that are easy to read and build. Upset chart has three main elements, the lower bar, the upper bar, and the dot plot. And for each of the categories, it shows the number of orders with products from categories. For example, here we have the number of orders with products from furniture and office supplies. Below, we have the number of orders with products from furniture and so on. The first step is to create a sheet named lower bar and then we'll start with a couple of formulas. The first one is number of orders. With the formula count distinct of order ID, then click OK and drag the formula to columns. Then, for the following steps, we will need the parameter named category parameter, change its type to string, and make a list with furniture, office supplies. and technology. Then click OK and let's make the formulas starting with furniture and it goes like fixed of order ID max of if category is furniture then one else is zero and end then copy the formula and click ok and let's create another one for office supplies using the same formula but change the furniture into office supplies then click ok and another one for technology with the same formula and change from furniture to technology. Then create the calculated field and we will use the old tree and we will name it category list. And the formula is if fur furniture is one, then furniture else nothing and plus a divider plus if office supplies is one then office supplies else nothing and plus a divider plus again if technology is one, then technology else nothing and end. Then click OK and drag the category list to rows. For the color, we will create a calculated field named color concat with the formula if furniture uh, if contains category list and category parameter, then uh, it's selected, else it is unselected. And click OK and drag the color concat to color and then I will change the color orange to gray for the unselected and click OK now hide the headers and go to upper bar 
For the upper bar, we will need to drag the category to columns and number of orders to row. For the color, we will create a calculated field named color with the formula if category is equal to category parameter, then it is selected, else it is unselected. And click OK and drag color to color and of course change orange to gray. For the dot plot, we will need an index, which is a calculated field with a formula float if category is furniture, then one, else if category is office supplies, then two, else if category is technology, then three, and then click OK and drag the index to column and change it to dimension and duplicate it then create a dual axis for the first index we will select the line and add the index to path and also make it the dimension and then discrete for the index 2 we will select the circle and add the index to detail also making it a dimension and discrete and then add color to color and uh, category list to rows. I will make the circle bigger and then add everything into a dashboard. I will start with the upper bar, then uh, I will add the horizontal container where I will add the dot plot and the lower bar. I will remove the headers for the dot plot. I will uh, make the view to entire view, remove the legends, then add a couple of blank spaces to make everything fit. I will need here a blank space and to add the blank space below I will add a container, then drag the dot plot into the container and add another blank space below and make it smaller. Now, remove the titles, and let's create the action. It is change parameter, leave the upper, upper uh, bar selected, and then uh, select the category parameter, and for the field, select the category, and click OK. And now it is working. These are the steps to create an upset chart. Thank you for watching.